Hi, this is Al Castro. In Living Great, you're created. You were created in the image of God. Kumusta na kayo mga kabayan? Before I start my uh, sharing today, I would like to uh, address this short uh, words to uh, President Rodrigo Duterte. Duterte, sir. Uh, I'm Al Castro. I just want to thank you for uh, your leadership. The change that's happening in the Philippines. I'm proud to be a Filipino because of you. And uh, thank you for uh, your connections to a lot of uh, countries. Your leadership is so impactful and it's helping a lot of people. And I want to tell you too that we support you. And I want to tell you too that uh, as a citizen of United States of America, I'm a Filipino still. And uh, we care about you. We care about our Kababayans, our friends in the Philippines. So we just want to tell you that um, we are uh, we're here, we're present, and we are making an impact in America and uh, many Filipinos around the world. God bless you, sir. Please uh, think that we are part, consider that we are part of our great country. We love you, President Duterte. This is Al Castro. Thank you very much. God bless. Today I want to share with you some uh, tips or what are the ultimate secrets to living great. Living great. How many people want to live great? Yes, it's God's will so that we will glorify Him. So number one secret in the ultimate secrets to living great is God. God is the author of life. Recognize Him. Give your life to Him. Talk to Him. Reconnect with Him. The presence of God gives us the best experience in life. Without God, whether you believe in heaven or not, you, you will not go to heaven. God is what we need in our lives. Don't die without God. He loves you so much. Number two secret in life is love people. Love people. There's nothing better than having a good relationship with people. We have to forgive and forget. People are God's vessels to bless you. Blessings will not fall from the sky. But true people, relationship is the best experience ever. You love people. You fell in love. It's the best experience ever. Number three, wisdom. You'll be promoted if you're wise. People will look for you if you're wise. Opportunities will open up your wise. Promotions will come. Listen, read, and master. Master something. A leader is unlimited. The Word of God is the best to learn. Number four, discipline. Discipline. A disciplined person reaches his destiny. If you start exercising, you'll develop a good physique. Like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Discipline. Start, serve, start saving and investing. You'll be wealthy. Start your project now and three to five years. That will be great. Pray daily and believe in miracles. And it will be normal for you. You'll reach far if you are disciplined daily. Number five. Learn from others. You don't have to experience everything. Ask Listen, observe, see the patterns of what they do, and discover their secret. Number six, develop a character and a positive attitude. You will increase likability. You will be attractive and magnetic. You'll create a positive atmosphere wherever you go. You'll, your personality will shine. You'll be like Jesus Christ. The best person in all history and the whole wide world. Number seven, know your life's purpose. Wake up in the morning and know why you're here on earth. According to the word of God, it's to worship. To worship God. And use the talents that God gave to help other people. Number eight, have goals and work smart. Live by faith. A target will keep you going. Achieve and accomplish 
what you set in your mind. Learn from it. Be the solution to people's problems. Number nine, rest and be creative. What that what it means by that is just be yourself. Ideas will come. Fatigue is the enemy of creativity. Relax, listen to music, talk to God, converse with yourself, and smile at life. There are trials and troubles, but you gotta move forward, move on. The Bible says, trust God with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your paths. You will never go wrong with the Word of God. And number five, and number ten, manage your decisions well. You have decided to do this and that. Manage it well, and be a strong leader wherever you are, for the glory of God. Make an impact. We have one life to live. If you are a slave, if you are a teacher, if you are a president, if you are a manager, whatever you are, just do your best. You got one life to live. Do it for the glory of God. You are important. You are valuable. You are a champion. You are a champion. You are a winner. You are a victor. And you are great. So live great. All right? I leave you this word of St. Paul. He said, I can do all things in Christ who gives me strength. All right, you are great. Do not forget, you are very important. I love you. All right, live great. God bless you. Thanks a lot for listening. Share this to your friends and loved ones and office mates and all the friends around the world. Check out my Facebook, Al Castro. All right, thanks. Bye-bye.